I do the kittens. So this is essentially my best in show. Thank you guys um, for coming. We love the Bay Area. We're in Pleasanton, we're in San Mateo in November, San Jose in December. Shameless plug, please come back and visit us. Let's go, number 10. Look at this guy. This is a minuet long hair. Minuet is one of our shorter legged breeds. Don't feel bad for him. He can do everything just as annoying as any other cat. Jump on your counters, open your cabinets. They run very fast. Fun fact about the Minuet, they were originally called the Napoleon cat. But sorry, my French friends, they did not like that. So we switched to Minuet. We have another short leg breed as well called a Munchkin, believe it or not. Their legs must stand straight. Their toes must stand straight. You know you've seen those dogs with their legs pinned in and big chest. We don't want to see any of this. We want to see a shorter body. We want to see straight legs in the back. Everything else about the cat is round. Round eyes, round head, rounded ears. They come in every single color imaginable. This just happens to be a pointed cat with blue eyes with white, similar to a ragdoll coloration. He is in exceptional, exceptional condition for this show. Very sweet, very easy to handle. A little on the shy side, but you guys are very scary. Best of breed Minuet, and he is number 10. This young chap is a toy bob one of our newer breeds. We see them a lot of times in this particular coloration, which is a seal point, Siamese coloration. These are new, they are native to Russia. They're one of our breeds that has a bob tail. No structural problems, no issues whatsoever. The only thing about this tail we look for is that it doesn't hang down lower than the middle of the leg. So this is right on, right on standard. They are short, they are compact, they are almost square. They are so short and sideways. Beautiful blue eyes, beautiful distribution of the pointed color on the cap to the ears, on the face, on the legs, on the tail. Wonderful, wonderful coat, condition, and color. He's very, very sweet, very easy to handle. Best Toy Bob, number nine. Best of breed British short hair. This is a young girl, blue tortoise shell. British short hairs. What is the most famous British short hair in English literature? Anybody know? The Cheshire Cat, Alice in Wonderland. So we're looking for that mischievous look, but sweet. Big cheeks, big eyes, smallish ears with rounded tips. Semi cobby in the body, not too long, not too short. The texture of a British coat is very unique. It leaves your handprint right in there. It breaks across the shoulder. It's very, very crisp. You have somewhere to go today? Best of breed British short hair. Today, number eight. Scottish fold distant cousin to the British. Different, just a little bit of a different area. Every Scottish fold can trace their ancestry back to one barn cat named Susie. She had this genetic mutation that caused the ears to fold, which you can see here giving them an owl-like expression. This gene that causes the ears to fold is a weakening of the cartilage. So we need to be on the lookout for other things, making sure the cat is full flexible in the legs, in the tail. Strong and powerful. They're big cats, you know, similar to the British. This one is beautiful with the rounded head, the rounded ears, the rounded eyes. Come in long hair and come in short hair. Best of breed, Scottish Fold, and today, number seven.
Best to breed Maine Coon. This is America's long hair, natural long hair cat. Come in almost every single color imaginable. This is a young female. They are known as the gentle giants. She's just five months old. So imagine the size of her when she's fully grown. We are looking for large, large ears set high on the head like if we're looking at a clock at 11 and one. We're looking for a large square muzzle, strong, strong uh, whisker pads, wonderful width to the nose, excellent all weather, shaggy, uneven coat, long tail, long body, muscles have muscles. Best of breed Maine Coon today, and she is a number six. In California, and really all over the world, we see loads of ragdolls, one of the most popular breeds. Reason probably why we see a lot in California is they originated in Riverside. The idea was to create a pointed cat with the Siamese coloration with a ragdoll type personality. The breeders have been doing a remarkable job up until this point or continuing through this point. This is a really pretty color. This is a torty point, meaning the calico coloration pointed with the Siamese. So pointed ears, pointed tail, blue eyes, and she's also mitted, which means she's got these really nice mittens on the ends of her feet. Beautiful texture to the coat, beautiful expression. Beautiful oval eye color, wonderful depth of that blue eye color as well. Best of breed ragdoll number five. I had a really, really, really beautiful large class of Bengals. It was very hard to get down to three, never mind two. The quality is unbelievable. Bengals originated also in California, so these guys have had a head start. This is a black silver spotted. The, the clarity of the silver color is incredible. Silver all the way down to the roots. Wonderful flow to the pattern. Wonderful rosetting. Look at the size of her eyes. The width to the nose, the size to the ears. These guys were originally across between an Asian leopard cat and a domestic years and years and years ago with the idea to create a loving lap leopard. Get a bangle if you want your whole life to be turned upside down, as you can see. This is a beautiful, beautiful example of the breed in a remarkable color. Second best of breed bangle, believe it or not, and number four. Best of breed Persian, solid black, young male, six months old. One of our most established breeds. Been around for a very long time. We are looking for these guys to be completely short and completely round. Massive round head. Tiny little ears set nice and low. Tiny little short body. Tiny little short tail. So important for this particular breed and all cats is to have wide open nostrils. When you have a cat with this short a face, we need to see the nostrils so there's no labored breathing whatsoever. The bite is important, meaning the teeth, not over, not under, not side to side. We wanna make sure they can eat properly. They have no muzzle. This is a lifestyle. If you choose to have a Persian, you gotta keep it like this. Is a one, it's a wonderful, wonderful example of the breed. This takes so much time, you cannot imagine. This is every day, twice a day. This is a beautiful example of the Persian breed. He is our best Persian, our best long hair, and number three.
This is a remarkable, remarkable Abyssinian. Another ancient breed has been around for a very long time. It is a tabby cat with a ticked coat. When I say a ticked coat, it means the color or the, on the hair is alternating. Dark light, dark light, dark light, giving an amazing depth to the color. They are athletic, they are fast, they are very busy. This one has beautiful, beautiful ears, a little bit lower on the bottom and wide and flared. Beautiful almond shape to the eyes. He has a wonderful, wonderful clarity of that ticking. There's no tabby markings at all to be seen. No striping, no rib, no uh, inside of the legs, the stripes, we don't wanna see any of this in remarkable condition. You can't believe the, the firmness in the muscles. You can feel every single muscle on this guy. Very sweet, very easy to handle. Today, this is our best of breed Abyssinian and number two. So let me start to say, in 1990, I bred my first litter of Bengals. I was literally very young. This was a dream at this point, to see as remarkable as the breed has developed in this 30 years. Originally a cross between an Asian leopard cat, a small feral cat from Southeast Asia. Looks pretty close to this. They are 100% domestic at this point. Get a Bengal if you want your life to be turned upside down. This guy, my gosh, the flow of the pattern, the short thickness of the tail, the width to the nose, the profile. My gosh, this is crazy straight, rounded into the back skull, no change of direction, strong chin, tiny little ears. You can see the remnants of the ocelli on the backs of the ears. The ocelli, think about an ocelot or a leopard, that whiting on the back of the ears, you can still see that. You can see the whiting underneath here like you would see on a leopard as well. Unbelievable example of the Bengal breed. Killer, killer temperament as well, which is really important for me. Are you okay? Best of breed Bengal, best short hair, very best kitten in show. And my present, right guys? Thank you very much, see you in a few.